It's too hot, even in the night. I couldn't sleep a wink. When is this heat going to end? What are all these fairies doing here? Why are you all congregating in my shrine? Get out of here, all of you. Don't just loiter in my shrine. There's nothing for you here, and I'm getting mad for every degree that goes up. I can't stand it. I want this heat to end. I'll kill every yokai and fairy I see. I'll unleash my true power. No one will be safe. Even the Hakurei barrier, I'll destroy with my bare hands and unleash the horrors from the depths of hell. Then you'll know how sexually frustrated I am, Hikecha. Relief. I want relief. Who can save me from this heat? She's here! She's finally here! The savior of summer! I always love fairies. Who would dare hurt my precious babies? A tan? Yeah, it's pretty hot today. Or maybe you went back to Okina. I thought I told you to stop getting juiced up. You know she's planning something nefarious with you. But I had no choice. It's so hot, even I couldn't handle it. So I needed some extra strength seasonal power to combat the heat. Plus, I now have enough energy to cool everyone else. Alright, fine. Just cool me down already. Yeah, no problem, Rimu. You're going to charge me? You don't expect me to just give my services away, do you? That's messed up! I'm dying from the heat here and you have the audacity to charge me? After everything I've done for you, this is the thanks I get? So cool, so refreshing. The money goes in here. This is wrong. This is so wrong. You know I don't have any money. You're taking advantage of my impoverished state. That's a new low for you, sir, no. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The money goes in here. I'm serious, sir, no. I'm getting really mad now, dying from this heat. All you're doing is taunting me right now. So how about you stop fooling around and... Ooh... This bliss. Oh, nothing can compare. No, no, no. People are going to get the wrong idea. You. Calm down, Rimu. I deleted the photos from my camera, remember? But one can never erase the memories from one's mind. What do you want, Aya? Me and Kirno have teamed up to provide cooling services to the people. Kirno emits an ice cold aura and I blow a strong wind to spread a cool breeze. That does sound like a good idea, but I don't have any money. Don't worry. For you, it's on us. I'll do you a favor and give you one free blast of wind. As a thank you for the amazing view from last time. Now stand back a bit. This time I adjusted the fan, so it won't blow our clients away. But to make up for the loss of power, you're going to need to increase your ice aura. You can count on me. Gather around everyone. We're going to give everyone a nice chill blast. That's it. Just gather around. All right. Are you ready, Kierno? I'm ready. It's about time you finally came, Raymu. I'm not here for a casual visit. It's just so hot that I was going to pass out if I didn't come here. Well, you should have come earlier. You know, it's too hot in that poor excuse of a shack you call a home. You don't even have electricity at your house. Do you think you can continue living in the boonies while the whole world moves ahead of you? How am I to start living in the 21st century already? Why do you think I built a nuclear power plant in the subterranean just to pollute the water? And haven't you learned a thing from Sanai? You know you can achieve godhood like her if you simply follow her example. Sanai is a good girl. But look at you. Look at those clothes. 
They're so worn down, they now qualify as rags. Sanai, give her some of your clothes. But you're going to have to alter the chest area. She won't be needing the extra cloth, that's for sure. By the way, how old are you, Reimu? Uh, 17. 17 and still single. What? That's marital age, you know. You should start searching for a husband and start settling down. Mind your own business. The Hakurei Shrine is my business. How do you expect to keep the Hakurei line going if you don't start popping out a few little Hakureis? If you don't have any children, then what will happen to the Hakurei barrier? Have you ever thought of that? You need to start thinking about producing offspring, particularly sons, because Sigin Sophia is really lacking in the male population. But I guess that's because the majority of yokai are female, and you know how women are when it comes to eligible bachelors. Yokai are human. You can always count on there being man-eaters among us, but there's still some pretty nice guys out there for you. So you better go and snatch one right now before for none are left. But I guess Yukari can always just bring in more men from the outside world. She sometimes does that by the trouble. Bonus! Hey, Sanai. If you can make miracles, why not give us a little rain? I actually wanted to do that, but Lady Yasaka forbids me from doing so. She said that if I alter the natural course of things too much, then Gensokyo's ecology may go into disarray. That's right. Sometimes it's best if things run their natural course, even if it means inconveniencing ourselves. It's for the safety of Gensokyo. Stop lying to her. You're just allowing people to run up their power bill with all the air conditioners going at full blast. But I'm offering a discount. If a friend or family converts to the Koto Moria, you'll get 50% off the next bill. Hey, big fairy, come over here. I don't hate fairies. It's just that it was too hot this summer. Be a good girl and don't hit puberty. Who's puberty? And why are people hitting him? Aha, aha, ha, aha, I hear Chaha. It's a tape raising team to you. Leave it to me. I am I'm ready. Jane the tea. Uh by the near out it. Ooh, so cool! So refreshing! <laughs> What happened to your arm? I ate it. 